It's almost decision time. One week from today, thousands of El Paso County voters will receive election ballots in the mail. And as CARDIO News Channel 13's Bonnie Selkman found out, today election judges are making sure your vote will count. After a few quiet months, things are kicking up a notch in the elections office. Today is kind of a big kickoff for the election because we are doing that logic and accuracy testing for the public so they, they know our elections are going to be conducted correctly and accurately. When testing is complete, nearly 40,000 ballots will have gone through these machines, all to make sure your vote is counted and counted correctly. I think it's important that everybody speaks your mind and, you, and your, you can't complain about something if you don't do what it takes to make the change. Even if your your choice is not chosen, your voice is still heard. 360,000 voters will get their ballot in the mail next week. We're also getting a look at the electronic voting machines that will be used in the upcoming elections. Now, something that's throwing some voters off is the final summary screen. So once you're done making your votes, you click next. Then you're going to see these two red boxes pop up. They both say no vote cast. However, if the top two boxes are white, that means your votes have been counted. But if the top two boxes are red like this, that means you either skipped a question or decided not to vote on a ballot item. There's a number of tax issues that are before the voters. And the clerk and recorder says ballot questions regarding taxes and marijuana draws in the most voters. This year, there's one state item on the ballot, which happens to include both. I think certain topics tend to bring out certain certain voters, so that that'll be that'll remain to be seen as to what what turns out for this election. Proposition BB asks voters to decide if almost 70 million dollars should go back to taxpayers or should be used for projects like school construction. In Colorado Springs, Bonnie Silkman, KRDO News Channel 13. Now, to get a copy of the El Paso County sample ballot, you can just head over to KRDO.com.